Hello, my name is Efa Moronte and I'm a nurse practitioner student from Franklin University. Today we're going to have some highlights about contact dermatitis. I hope you like it. Dermatitis is considered an inflammation that can be seen as erythema, vesiculation, and pruritus in the acute phase. In the chronic phase, we can see dryness, scalene, liquidification, fissures, and pruritus. Contact dermatitis is an inflammatory disorder of the skin. It is caused by irritants and allergens from the external environment. It can be classified as allergic contact dermatitis or irritant contact dermatitis. The widely known form is eczematose inflammation. In the picture, we can see the normal skin, the contact dermatitis uh, condition, and also the allergy that it caused that. In the history and physical examination, we can find itchy rashes, leathery patches that are initially dark are also assessed. The presence of dry, crack, and scaly skin and the white skin is also assessed in physical examination. And we also can find pumps and blisters on the skin. In both images, we can see uh, the irritant dermatitis and the allergic dermatitis. Risk factors. Common risk factors are age, occupation, and family history. Individuals with red hair have an increased risk of developing this condition. Contact dermatitis is also common among those with fair hair. This came, sorry. Since women are... Um, Available to use jewels and fragrances, there are a high risk of developing contact dermatitis. Also, the medical team um, are in risk due to the latex in the gloves and the continuously uh, hand washing. Signs and symptoms. Periodic eczematose localized in the skin area where the allergen was in contact uh, with the skin. Redness, papules, and edema. Vesiculation, crusting, and whipping are also clinical manifestations. This picture shows an allergic contact dermatitis. We can see the blister, the redness, and also the lesions caused by the crushing, uh, the scratching of the patient due to the itchiness. The next one is the uh, a classic picture of written contact dermatitis. We can see the dryness in the hands and also the redness. Diagnostic procedures. Patch testing is sensation when chemicals or allergens wants to be identified. This diagnostic me method is beneficial due to the cost effective factor and reduce the malpractice. Um, potassium hydroxy preparation of fungal cultures helps to exclude tinnitus in hand and feet. Biopsy of the skin might also help to exclude other conditions such as psoriasis and cancer. Therapeutic procedures on allergic contact dermatitis. Allergic contact dermatitis benefits from topical corticosteroids in order to reduce the symptomatology so, such as pruritus. It could be used as orally or topical, depending on the severity, and though both therapies can never be used more than two weeks. Also, topical socks and uh, cold tap water, cold compresses, and um, aluminum saline can be used. Uh, to reduce the vesicular dermatitis. The, the definitive treatment uh, with eliminate, is eliminate to the, uh, the causal agent. Therapeutic procedures in a written contact dermatitis. The identification of the causal agents is better in these conditions. Also, treatments with ceramides containing creams or blend emollients will help with the dryness. Mild cleansers also will reduce the uh, irritation. And corticosteroid has not shown any proof of beneficial treatment in this condition. It's also really important to refer the patient to a dermatologist for further assessment. Patient education. Patient must be educated on allergen identification to avoid contact. Female patients should be educated on alternative cosmetics and the need to avoid fragrances. Patients with, dermati with dermatitis should be told to avoid sexy hand washing. There are also systemic diseases that can cause by this condition, like immunologic dysfunction, concurrent hypersensibility reaction, hips and swelling, like urticaria and angioedema, and anaphylaxia. 
concerns for antibiotics and insecticides resistance. Oral antibiotics are ineffective and do not enhance recovery. Uh, qualified dermatologists must prescribe antibiotics if, if there is any contamination. And exposure to pesticides can also the, um, worsen the allergic dermatitis. Impacts of the life quality. Both allergy and irritant contact dermatitis can cause irritation and itching and people do not want to be seen scratching themselves in public. The rashes also um, are uncomfortable and the patient doesn't want to be seen with that. On the severe conditions, they're using due to the crusting and all this can cause pain and reduce the quality of life of, this, of these people with contact dermatitis. Alternative treatment options, um, like coconut oil, um, it's been showing that reduce the growing of bacteria in the skin. Also, we can use uh, damp pieces of clothing on the skin surface and anti-itch creams and ointments can also be get by over the counter from pharmacy. Patient follow-up. A follow-up protocol must ensure that the indoor environment where the patient lives is free from allergens. The follow-up will also reveal if the patient condition is improving or worsening. Follow activities can also assess adherence to the treatment regimen, and patient needs to be seen after two or three weeks uh, of the treatment to evaluate the treatment efficacy. This is my references. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you like it and have a good day.